Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on reflection in mirrors. The topic of this video is plane mirror ray diagrams, and we want to know what is a ray diagram and how do you draw them for plane mirrors. I'm Mr. H. Let's get started. A ray diagram is a conceptual tool that shows how light gets from the object to the mirror to the eye of a person as that person sights along a line at the image of an object. You can draw ray diagrams for any type of mirror. In this video, we're going to discuss ray diagrams for plane mirrors. This is a ray diagram. You notice that there's a mirror, there's an object, an image, and then there's an eye. And you'll notice that there's a couple of rays drawn that show how light gets from the object to the mirror to the eye as the person sights along a line at the image of that object. Ray diagrams are based upon that very premise that in order to see the image of an object, one must sight along a line at that image location. And when one does, light comes to the person's eye along that line of sight. Here we are given a mirror, an object location, and an eye location, and we have to draw a ray diagram to show how light gets from the object to mirror to the eye. The process involves three steps, with the first step being locate the image of the object. You can do this with a straight edge ruler. You lay it down on the paper and measure along a perpendicular line from the object to the mirror, and then along the same perpendicular line, out the other side the same distance put a dot down, label an image. The second step is to draw the reflected ray from the mirror to the eye of the observer. You do this by aligning a straight edge up between the eye location and the image location. This is the line of sight. Draw a reflected ray from the mirror to the eye, put an arrowhead on it, then extend that reflected ray backwards behind the mirror to the image location to indicate where the person is sighting. The final step is to draw the incident ray from the object to the mirror to the location where the line of sight intersects the mirror. Put an arrowhead on that incident ray and now you have your ray diagram finished. If the ray diagram that you're drawing is for an object arrow instead of for a point, then you have to repeat the process twice, once for each extremity on that object. For instance, I have to locate the image of the topmost part of the object and the image for the bottommost part of the object. Then I have to draw the complete image in between these two image points. Now I've determined the image location. Now I have to determine the reflected and the incident ray for both looking at the bottom part of the image and the top part of the image. I'll begin with the bottommost point on the image. I sight along a line there and then I draw my reflected ray along that line of sight. I dash it backwards towards the image to show where I'm sighting. Then I do step three. I draw the incident ray from the bottommost part of the object to the mirror at the location where I'm sighting when I'm sighting at the bottommost part of the image. Now repeat the process of step two and step three for sighting at the topmost part of the object. Line your ruler up with that point on the image and then draw the ray of light from the mirror to your eye, put an arrowhead on it, dash it backwards to show where you're sighting. You now have the reflected ray for looking at the topmost part of the image. Now draw the incident ray from the top of the object to the mirror where you're sighting and you're done. Here is one more ray diagram. This time the object is an arrow that is angled, not vertical. But that doesn't make any difference. We still go through the same three steps for constructing the ray diagram. We locate the image of the object, then we draw the reflected rays from along the line of sight that goes from the eye to the two extremes of the object. Finally, we draw the incident ray from the extremes of the object to the point where the line of sight intersects the mirror. In all cases, a ray diagram shows where the eye must sight and how light gets from the, mirror, from the object to the mirror to the eye. There will likely be various applications of ray diagramming in your physics class. One classic application is to ask the question, at what locations on the mirror must this eye sight in order to view the complete image of this object in the mirror? The process begins by drawing your complete ray diagram. You know, the three steps. Locate the image, draw the reflected rays, draw the incident rays, and there you have it. Now you have to answer the questions. At what locations were, will, must this eye sight in order to view the complete image of this object? So I've marked two points on the mirror, point X and point Y. And from this eye position, this eye must sight as high as point X and as low as point Y in order to view the image of this object. Here is the second type of ray diagramming application question. L, Bo, Psi, Des, and Ellis are all positioned in front of a plane mirror. 
which of these students can be seen from the indicated eye position? Answering this question involves performing the first two steps of constructing a ray diagram. First, you locate the images of these, two, of these five students. So I measure from the student to the mirror and out the other side along a perpendicular the same distance. I draw in the images and I label them A, B, C, D, and E. Now the second step involves drawing a line of sight from the eye position to each one of these image locations. And so I do that, and here's my five lines of sight. Now for four of the lines of sight, they don't intersect the mirror. And since they don't, there's no way that light can reflect off that position and reflect along the line of sight to the, to the, eye, to the eye. So the result here is that the only person that can be seen from this indicated eye position is Des. You'll notice the line of sight from eye to Des intersects the mirror, and as such, light from Des can reflect off the mirror along the line of sight to the observer's eye. Only Des can be seen. It's at this time in every video that I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out, could you help us out by giving us a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a question or comment in the comment section below. Now for your action plan. Here are three resources that can be found on our website. I've included links to each one of these in the description section of this video. You have a simulation page at our physics interactive section. You have a concept builder and you have a tutorial page. Any one of these could help make the learning stick. Whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck. I'm Mr. H and I thank you for watching.